There are three massive mistakes you need to avoid while reading. These mistakes have taken me over 300 books over seven years and they've costed me thousands of dollars, hundreds of hours, and I obviously don't want you to make those same mistakes that I did. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid these three mistakes and then what's the solution to them. This was one of the biggest mistakes that I used to make. What I used to do was the moment I would finish a book, I would have another one in hand or I'd even be reading multiple books at the same time. And I did this back to back to back, literally nonstop. I'd just be reading, 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 book after book after book. But the problem was I was very seldom actually implementing the information and the nuggets in these books. If you're reading like I was for personal development and business growth, if you're not implementing, what are you actually doing? So I wasted hundreds of hours that I probably didn't need to by not actually implementing any of the things I was learning as well as they could have. The solution to this is to read books over and over and make sure you're fully implementing before you go on to the next book. Because firstly, if you're reading books back to back to back like I was, you're kind of starting to muddle up the different concepts and frameworks in the books. Then you don't really get the full benefits from what they were teaching. You're not ever gonna reach the point that you're getting as good results as that person was when they were teaching the concepts. And when I was thinking about it more recently, I realized I was kind of reading to almost like kind of stroke my ego and I could tell people, oh, I've read hundreds of books over this period but it's like, what did I actually have to show for it? So read the same book over and over and over. Make sure that you implement before you go on to the next book. This next lesson was actually quite a recent realization for me in that I was rereading one of the first books I ever read. And this was called Dotcom Secrets by Russell Brunson. This is one of the first like businessy books that I read. And I was rereading this book after not having read it for a long time. And it literally felt like I was reading a different book. Like it was a completely different experience. And there's a few reasons for that. When I first read it, I was just starting out in business. This book really laid out lots of business concepts, which were quite new to me. Now that I'm reading it years down the way, I've worked with lots of clients and I've got all this experience. I'm reading this book in a very different mental state. I've got different ways that I view the world. I've got different mental frameworks. I just have very different perspectives than I did when I read it back then. So reading the book now, it's like I'm reading a completely different book. Obviously it's the same information, but the way I'm interpreting that book is extremely different. And that's something I recommend for you to do as well. Think about consciously, let me reread this book again in six months time, in a year's time, in two years time, could be 10 years time. I can almost guarantee you that the things that jump out to you are gonna be so different and the way you interpret what's being taught now that you have experience behind that is gonna be a very, very different experience. And the final one is, are you sometimes reading a book and you go over a couple of pages and you suddenly realize, I don't actually remember a single thing I read, like it went in one ear, out the other, and you've completely blanked on what you actually read. That's obviously not what you want, especially if you are reading like me, as someone who wants to read for personal growth and business development. You can't just be reading and not processing anything of what you're reading because you're obviously wasting your time. And again, you maybe end up in that situation, you're reading, you're like, oh, I'm actually learning something, you're stroking your ego a bit, but you're not actually implement anything you don't actually remember any of it then what's the point like what are you even doing that's just wasting your time the solution that i found that worked really well for me in this case is to treat reading as if you're studying like literally underlying books so if you don't like writing your books write down on a separate piece of paper important notes use the highlighter on your amazon kindle for example but take those words really pay attention to what you're reading take down those notes put it into your own words even what i like to do sometimes at the moment is i'll read a concept and i'll literally Literally stop for a minute or two just kind of look off and think about what I just read and try literally in my brain visualize how the pieces fit together and really make sure it's sitting in my brain and I'm understanding the concept that they said because that's how you really make it stick is when you take it you read it and you're like, okay, let me put this in context of my world or let me put this into words that I properly understand and literally see it in your mind. And I found that helped me keep the concepts much longer and really make them stick when you just read it and you think about it over and over and over in your own interpretation and your own way. This was one of the biggest breakthroughs I had as a reader, an avid reader, and also as an entrepreneur. This is when I really started to see big growth in regards to what I was doing. Knowing these three big mistakes is gonna save you firstly a ton of time in how much you're reading if you're already reading but it's also going to massively shortcut how quickly you grow if you're actually reading and implement as we've been talking about you're going to actually be using the frameworks and the knowledge that have been given to you in these books and it's going to shortcut you and save you a ton of time and also make you grow a lot, lot faster